Welcome back to Dynasty Football Live. Today, man, this is what we've been waiting for. We're going to bring you into our own personal league. We're going to let you guys know where we're at with our current teams, and we're going to let you see our league. We're going to, we're going to scan through our teams. We have a 12-team PPR, half-point PPR league, um, single quarterback, you know, so and we we have another flex in there. So we took the kickers out. We don't we, we don't mess with kickers, man. Uh, <laughs> nobody wants to lose like the Eagles lost last year. You know what I'm saying? Nobody wants to lose to a kicker. So um, without a doubt, hey, welcome to fantasy land here. And uh, we're about to dive into these teams. Manny, take us on board with the teams here, starting at the top with the killer bees, which is the reigning champion of our league last year he made a move to acquire a lot of studs a lot of you are going to look at this team and be like how in the hell did he get all these well i can <laughs> tell you he traded like three years and like eight first rounders to get a team like this so uh okay. yeah we're going to take you into the top here and we're going to slowly work our way down and let you know as you're seeing these teams, where is how they ended last season? So at the top, obviously, you see the Killer Bees there. They finished first. Superior Searcy finished second, and so on and so on. Preheat finished last. Mm -hmm. So um, take us on board here. Let's let's dive into some of these teams and scan through their rosters and talk about. Them. All right. Well, let me give you a little bit of background. Uh, first, this this league started originally. Uh, almost 20 years ago, maybe, maybe almost 20 years ago. Uh, it didn't actually become, but it was originally more of a, a, a regular standard restart or redraft league. But in 2012, it became a dynasty league. We had never done a dynasty league before. So uh, a lot of our drafts back then were kind of, um, kind of, kind of going to learning as you go kind of thing. Uh, and mm -hmm. it's definitely evolved through the years, but I just wanted to give you a little history there. But yeah, we have the Killer Bees, and uh, they made some moves last year that were kind of absurd. Um, a buddy of mine, uh, who we're going to talk about his team later, um, essentially had a very competitive team, but he's like, my my time's kind of coming up. My guys are getting a little bit older, and he absolutely just started from scratch. He has he was starting like thir third string running backs and quarterbacks, and he was just uh well he finished lots. Let's just say that. But anyways, uh, we had the Killer Bees with Patrick Mahomes, Najee Harris, J.K. Dobbins, Diggs, Cooper Cup, T. Higgins, Debo Samuel, Mark Andrews, um, and as you can see, there's no defense right now. We we just recently went through the purge. Uh, of our, you know, our non keepers. And uh, so, you know, there's a lot of teams that are not going to have a defense unless you have an elite one. Uh, we go down to his bench, uh, Jared Goff, Aaron Jones, Gibson. I mean, when you hear these okay. names, it just continues. It yeah, continues loaded. on and on and on. Um, by, by no means, I think, I mean, in my opinion, I think this is going to be the team that's going to be the next, the next team. I, I, they might go back to back. We'll see. Yeah. I think so. Um, any, anything you want to add about his team? Man, you know, guys, this is – he he, he kind of did exactly what the – you know, if we're looking at real teams in real life, the Los Angeles Rams, okay? So he sold all his picks to get all these pretty toys, and, you know, we'll see how long this lasts. I'm not saying it was a bad idea, but as you can tell, his picks are uh, – Ab, not not there anymore so uh yeah, yeah the next and he had he had to... more picks last year that obviously are not showing in here so. yeah so you know guys hey he got a ship though he won he he did what the goal is is to win a championship so i'm not knocking the guy he did what he had to do so um we'll see if it uh continues and we will update these at the end of the year and let you know we're gonna kind of follow our season with you guys and let you know where we stand We'll show you some trades that have happened in our league and obviously, you know, keep you guys uh, informed on, as to how we're doing. All right, now second place. Now this guy, you guys, um, he, he's got nasty wide receivers. This guy's got the best wide receiver group in the whole league, man, and it is – it's nasty. So, um, yeah, I I actually traded him Joe Burrow this offseason, picked up a top, top four pick, and, um, you know, you know, I, I felt like uh, – I could get it done with other other pieces. So 
Uh, let's start here. Joe Burrow as his as his his leader. Not a bad one. That's 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 one to get. Uh, Miles Sanders had a bounce back here last year. David Montgomery to be continued on him. Uh, there with Jameer Gibbs in town. Justin Jefferson, the very best wide receiver you can have in uh, Dynasty. AJ Brown, another top five guy. Uh, Amon Ra, I think this guy is special. I drafted him last year and traded him to another guy, which then flipped him to him. And <laughs> look what happened now. He just got he's low. <laughs> so Tyler Lockett, not a bad season. However, I think JSN is going to come back and steal some of that shine this year. He acquired Travis Kelsey this offseason. So he's trying to make a repeat at the championship, which he actually won year before last. So you're looking at a guy who already has a championship under his belt. Dak Prescott. Jeff Wilson, Jr., Clyde Edwards-Alaire, Elijah Mitchell, Boston Scott, Kyron Williams, Darius Slayton, Michael Thomas, Kyle Phillips. Uh, you know, kind of all right. Not not really too crazy. Uh, Jawan Johnson could be a good tight end there. They did they did re-sign Jimmy Graham, or they signed Jimmy Graham. Imagine that. Yeah. We'll see how that works out. Let's go to the next uh, team uh, that finished third place last year. It's going to be – we got to get back to, to the league settings here. And then um, Super Bowl, Super Bowl Stretch, Stretch Ball. Wow, what an interesting <laughs> name here. Uh, yeah. I'll let you talk about yeah. uh, this one for OG. Yeah. I'm not going to say his name. <laughs> he, used <laughs> to, uh, he used to go by – he used to be <laughs> Don't Kill My Vibes. The name has evolved through the years. Uh, he's been – he's he's got a history of uh, quarterback situations. Uh a lot of uh, miss miss you know mistakes, uh, and uh, this year he kind of is putting all of his uh, eggs in the Jordan Love basket. We'll see what happens there. Uh, I kind of wanted to make a trade for him as a Packer fan. Uh, didn't I mean I thought I was giving him a good good deal. Didn't happen. Yeah, uh, we'll kind of focus more on the starters just because you know we don't want this video to be super long. Yeah, but super long. Ramonde Street Stevens. So let's see what happens there. Um, you know, with Cook, maybe rumor to go there. We already don't like, you know, Patriot running backs. That would be, uh, well, rest in peace, Ramondre Stevens, if if that happens, and Cook too, yeah, for that for matter. Me and Cook, man, I'm praying to God yeah. he won't go there. Uh, yeah, me too with the Jets. Um, and uh, you know, Jonathan Taylor, he got him uh, one over uh, first. I think he got first overall one year. Um, and uh, he picked them up as Joe Mixon. He's pretty stacked at running back. You know, if you he look didn't at go the first name, overall, he went second overall, and I still give you know, oh boy, shit for taking CEH number one. So yeah, that was, Oh yeah, that is true. We did take CEH. Yeah. Um, you know, we talked a little bit about James Conner earlier. He, I mean, he's got solid running backs. Um, you know, he drafted Devonte Adams early on his career and, uh, definitely benefiting from the DJ Moore trade and, and Darren Waller trade as well to the giants. So, uh, he's got a pretty solid team. He finished third. I think, you know, if, if love situation pans out, and uh, there's no, you know, Cook in New England. Um, and uh, I think let's he has flash, a good shot, Let's right? flash the benches real quick just to show them what they got. They got Geno, Jared McKinnon, Desmond. I mean, he's got a few pieces down here. Sky Moore that could come yeah. into play this this year. Yeah. So And Schultz. We'll see how he does with the Texans. So um, let's go to the fourth place team in our uh, league last year, and uh, I'll be talking about them. I'm I'm really excited about our draft. It's coming up this Friday. Everybody's gonna be drinking and talking shit. You know, um, it's gonna be a good time, as it always is. Now here's our buddy. Here he is. I, I'm glad I get to talk about this one. Here we go. <laughs> we get to talk, and he doesn't have his his starting lineup in because, like, a lot of people, I don't know why they don't set their starting. Lineup. Does he have it in? Do you want to go up a little bit, or is that how it starts? Did he not like set it? Some people set their starting lineup to show their team off. No, he didn't season. set it. He didn't set it. Okay, so he's got – we'll start here. He's got Jalen Hurts, Kamara, Cam Akers, Isaiah Pacheco, C.D. Lamb, Jamar Chase, Jerry Judy, um, Darnell Mooney, Josh Palmer. He's, he's got some studs, bro. He's got, he's got a squad. What I think is going to hinge this guy, um, he's got Marquise Brown, Cooks, uh, Mechie, you know, I think running back is what he really, really, really needs to be targeting. And, you know, um, you know, we'll see if Kamara still plays and Cam Akers plays up to their potential. This dude could be in the in the running 
for the championship. And that's just my opinion. He's got a solid team. He just, yeah. he's got to, um, I think, invest a little bit more in the running back position or try to get some better running backs that he has. But yeah, man. Oh, oh, uh, oh, uh, Kamikaze Orcas. Here they are. Kamikaze Orcas. Yeah. <laughs> Dude, he's got a pretty solid team. I think, I think the issue might be depth, you know, when it comes yeah. down to injuries and stuff. Uh, kind of top heavy, but if dude, if if the guys play the way they're supposed to, um, man, sky's the limit. Tons uh, of no, receivers, tons, 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 tons for tons. days. And we yeah. have Bills Mafia, as you can tell. Uh, possibly, maybe I don't know. I don't know if you can tell from this, but he's a Bills fan. <laughs> he has uh, he has the whole uh, Bills roster in his team. Almost, uh, I think he doesn't have digs, but uh, but anyways, Josh Allen, obviously, uh, Swift. Um, I think you got him on a trade, right? Yeah, got it. Got yeah. him for me on a trade. Yep, I yeah. traded him a uh, and AJ Dillon from you, I think, yeah, or and I don't remember the other guy, but Saquon Barkley. I mean, he has a pretty solid uh running back stable, um, receiver wise. A little bit of question, Keen Allen, obviously, you know, amazing, but getting up there, yeah. Amari Cooper, yeah. solid, but not you know, he's not. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, he's not a he's not elite like you know like the some of the other guys you know, we've seen. That's something what? I wanted to say. Cooper yeah. had a decent year last year, and I think he continues to have a decent year this year. But you know, the time may be coming to an end. So yeah, maybe for this uh, year. Yeah, Michael Pittman, dude. I'm, I was a huge believer in Pittman. I actually drafted him as a in the rookie draft, yeah. and uh, one of our other uh, league mates uh, wanted to yeah. give me pennies on the dollar for uh for Pittman didn't believe in, in what happened Pittman uh you know he's actually a serviceable re re receiver I mean he's the number one in, in for Indianapolis right now we'll see what mm -hmm. happens uh Hawkinson and obviously Bill's defense he was not going to drop that one no uh and he has a couple of guys here obviously another Bill James <laughs> James Cook uh Rashad White kind of kind of you know coming oh, into Rashad his own White. a little bit or yeah good one yeah uh Kirk Damian Harris, another another Buffalo Bill expatriate, you know, Gabe Davis. Mm -hmm. He has a pretty solid, solid roster. I think last year, him and uh, Killer Bees were undefeated late into the year. And uh, unfortunately, Bill's Mafia kind of fell apart, which yeah. is why they ended up where they are. But uh, yeah. definitely a solid team. Mm -hmm. uh, we'll see what happens here. Now, here's a guy who lost in the championship last year. Uh he was in the championship. I don't know why the, the these rankings are not right. Yeah, we may we may need to readjust. Let's, we yeah. have to make sure the draft order is accurate. Actually, now that I yeah. say that, so uh, yeah, uh, this guy actually was in the championship, and he probably would have won, but he I think he took a devastating injury to one of his players, and uh, yeah, dude, he had Lamar Jackson uh, yeah. injury, yeah. and that was basically yeah. sealed the deal. He yeah, is so, dude. He's he's pretty stacked. So loaded. Look at this team, guys. This is amazing. Lamar Jackson, CMC, Nick Chubb, Tony Pollard, Devontae Smith. It just gets better. Mike Williams, Calvin Ridley, one of my biggest go-getters this offseason. Evan Ingram um, <laughs> keep, keeps getting better. 49ers defense. He's got Chris Olave, Mac Jones, which I'm not too excited about. Kirk Cousins is decent. I think that's who he had to roll with last year in the in the play or in the championship was Kirk yeah. Cousins. Yeah. And Kirk didn't have uh, uh, that great of a showing, I don't think. So, uh, yeah, he had a tough yeah, team, I think. Super solid team here, guys. So, yeah, this was yeah. our league runner up last year. And you I don't know why he kept, he has two defense. Dude, he, <laughs> he, he, he must uh, know something we don't. He, he likes the defenses, yeah, but, yeah. um, and the tight ends. This guy took a, yeah. took a tight end in the second round, a, a, a free agent veteran tied in in the second round last year kind of surprised us all but hey it worked out for him he still made the championship so who am i to judge uh who's this okay we got uh this guy you know has had terrible luck in this league and i yeah. i love the guy personally he's a great guy i love him uh just yeah. has not had the best luck that a lot of injuries before. dude yeah so let's go down here and talk about it who, who you want to start at the top with him yeah, yeah. So first order, um, he's one of the guys that has uh, a lot of running uh, quarterbacks. He has Justin Fields and Kyler Murray. Mm -hmm. um, we, um, obviously, if you know 
anything about <laughs> Arizona Cardinals that uh, that was kind of a uh well, I'll keep it clean. Uh, they didn't have a good season at the end no, uh, no, when he got no. hurt. But yeah, Austin Eckler, he used to be mine. Dude, uh, one of the most other running backs. Uh, I tried to get him back, actually, but it wasn't working out. Uh, Kenneth Walker, uh, this is kind of an interesting situation for him because he has a, a middle round pick. And, uh, you know, is he going to go for Charbonnet having Kenneth Walker? Uh, is he going to go a different route? You know, that's going to depend on, that's going to affect a lot of, a lot of people's decisions down the line, including mine. So I'm kind of curious to see what he does here. Uh, Raheem Muster, uh, you know, injuries kind of derailed his career a little bit. Um, but when he's healthy, he's just, you know, he's a, yeah. Yeah, he's a carry away from a touchdown. Uh, literally Tyree kill, of course, uh, Curtis Samuels. We kind of talked about him in a different video. He just needs to stay healthy, but he's uh, got a lot of potential. Um, Derek Henry, who, um, obviously his lineup's not set, but he's got a pretty solid, uh, solid squad. Uh, Kadarius Tony could be the number one when it's all said and done. And, uh, yeah, I, I really like his squad just needs to, needs to stay healthy. And I'm very curious to see what he does with his pick. Uh, since it could affect six. Him. Yeah, he's got the yeah. one six. So I think, I think for real, like honestly, I think we can all look at his roster and tell where he's going to go. But you know, I'm not gonna, yeah. I'm not gonna spoil it or say anything on here that's going to affect right. our draft because it is on Friday. And guys, I'm going to tell you what, it's like Christmas to me, man. I, I don't even go to work <laughs> on uh, on that day, so it's like. Well, I say that, but I, I try to get out of there early so I can go home and, like, you know, set my board and all that. But, yeah. <laughs> Here we are. I'm going to let you talk about your squad, bro. I'm going to let you talk okay. about your squad. I'm not going to do it for you. This is my man, Manny's team right here. So, uh, he's made some killer moves this offseason. And I'm going to let you take away with your team at the top. Jack Attack. Yeah, I'm hoping, I'm hoping this year I can be finally back to being competitive. Uh, you know, um, I've, I've kind of been a, a bit of a laughing stock uh, even before Byron uh, joined the joined our league because I went to the championship three years in a row uh, and I lost three years in a row uh, mm. twice on my birthday. So that was tough. Um, and uh, after that, it, it ha I had to go into rebuild mode, unfortunately. So I've been kind of irrelevant, but slowly being patient. Uh, and trying to make the right calls, you know, um, I think that was probably one of the hardest things to do is to be patient when you're in a rebuild because obviously you want to win uh, and it's not as much fun, obviously, if you're losing. So I was very patient. Uh, last year I had the 1.1 and I turned that into, uh, I think, three first rounders or two first rounders. I don't remember, but I ended up drafting uh, Lawrence. Well, not last year, two years ago. Uh, drafting Lawrence and ETN in the first round. Obviously, ETN uh, was hurt uh, his rookie year, so that was kind of a bummer. Uh, last back, year, draft you got, you, know him you got him I back. You got him. I got him back. I, I drafted him, traded him, and then I got him back. Uh, <laughs> Breeze Hall, obviously, hopefully, you know, I've had a little, you know, bad luck with the injuries, um, but yeah, we'll see. Hopefully, he bounces back. I have Metcalf, who Byron wants to take at all costs. Uh, I've, I've been holding strong. Uh, Mike Evans is a new addition of the team. Um, Christian Watson, Drake London, and Joku is a new addition as well. Uh, hopefully, him uh, he has a kind of he got a bit of a breakout last year. Hopefully, he continues that with Watson becoming old Watson. Hopefully, yeah. Uh, Deshaun Watson is my quarterback, uh, as well as uh, Lawrence, and then Sam Howell uh, in the mix there. Uh, I drafted Michael Carter earlier uh, before, obviously Brees Hall, and then. Breeze Hall got drafted, so that was kind of a bummer. But um, I have a lot of ex-Packers, uh, as you can uh, see here. But uh, I feel good about my team, I think. Uh, one thing I wanted to mention, I have the oh, number two pick uh, overall. I traded J Jalen Waddle to try to make my running back uh, room a little bit more uh, a little more depth, a little more scary. Um, so I have the number two overall, and I have the number nine overall pick in this year's draft. So uh, I'm not going to spoil anything, but you might know who I'm getting. Um, and, uh, yeah, that's my team. Uh, hey, hopefully I can good. compete, man. Man, you can, dude. You got this, bro. I think you're a, I think you're a playoff spot uh, for sure, sealed, dealed, and you're going – Possibly, man, you got a squad, bro. I love your team. Uh, it looks beautiful. Um, 
Here's a new guy just joined. Obviously, he doesn't have anybody in uh, his uh, lineup, but I'll start at the top here. He's got Daniel Jones, Matthew He's Stafford. a Giants fan, by the way. Yeah, Giants fan. Trey Lance, Jamal Williams. Dude's, dude's obviously, you know, coming in, just gutting the roster. Uh, Jamal Williams, Chuba Hubbard, Isaiah Spiller, Ayuk, Thielen, Jahan Dotson, Pierce, uh, Renfro. We got Allen Robinson. Uh, Taekwon Thornton, Rashad Bateman, Jameson Williams. Um, dude's pretty loaded in the young wide receivers. He's got Bellinger and Irv Smith. I like it. I mean, I think where he's going is the right way. He's acquired a lot of picks. Um, you know, I won't get into the picks that he has, but um, super, super, super. Uh, he's he's at he just joined, so he wants to tear a squad down and build it the way he wants. So this is a prime example of what a roster looks like when you're going through joining a dynasty league. So I think he's doing the right thing. Uh, I, yeah. I question some of the trades that he's sent me personally, but uh, you know, <laughs> I think we all have been, you know, in a league where they send trades and you're like, nah, bro, it's not happening yeah. today. So uh, yeah. yeah, that's another guy just joined. Um, that's the brute squad. So we'll go to our next team, which yeah. I think it is going to be another new guy that has just joined yeah. in, and he is a Dolphins fan, as you can tell. So I'll let Manny take this one away. Well, uh, we have Tua, uh, uh, Tua Fast, Tua Furious, uh, great mm -hmm. name there. Um, he, yeah, he traded for Tua this year uh, or this off season. Um, I didn't trade him Waddle, but he it ended up getting Waddle uh, from the guy I traded him for. So uh, he's got a pretty solid team. I, I'll actually like his team. I think. Uh, unfortunately, you know, with uh, the Tua situation, it, it's all about health. Um, Josh Jacobs, a lot of issues with uh, the contract. We'll see what happens there. So there's some, there's a lot of potential in this team. I really like yeah. it. It's just there's some questions there. Javante Williams with the knee injury, uh, that was a tough one. Terry McLaurin, uh, Deontay Johnson. Um, his his receiver room is pretty good. Yeah. Um, I really like it. Uh, Dolcich could be, you know, a, a guy who breaks out, uh, George Kittle. Let's see if he is, uh, receiving and yards and catches goes up and it's not so touchdown dependent. Um, I'm guessing based on his roster that maybe he felt he valued the def the New Orleans Saints defense more than uh, some of the players that he could have kept. Yeah. Um, Kind of but a yeah, sneaky he, defense too, man. Because you know, I mean, a few, few, few years ago, the, the Saints were the team to have on defense. So we'll yeah. see if they come back. Maybe he knows something we don't. Yeah, maybe uh, he's got some insurance for Tua there with Mike White. Although I think, uh, wait, didn't they get someone else? No, they didn't get anyone else. I thought Anyways. the backup was Skylar Thompson, but I could be wrong. Yeah, maybe. I don't know. Uh, last year, Skylar Thompson was third behind uh, – what's his name? Bridgewater. Uh, Bridgewater. Bridgewater. But um, I don't know. I don't know. Maybe that – that. I mean, Mike, Mike White played pretty well um, when he got his shots. So he got the Rams defense. Um, Elijah Moore, that could be a big one there. But, um, you know, he's got a pretty solid squad. Um, I think definitely playoffs are in the cards based on – uh, could be on the cards. I think there's a lot of questions, you know, with the injuries and yeah. um, not just him, but him. And that, those are key positions. So um, we'll keep Absolutely. moving to the next one. Uh, who is picking you apart? We, we uh, which is Byron's. <laughs> <laughs> Go ahead. I changed my team like I changed my jerseys on this channel. So, or I changed my team name like I changed my jersey. So, um, guys, here it is. Um, your Yours. Uh, Yours truly here on on display. So I'm going to start. I, I acquired uh, Aaron Rodgers. I think he's going to have a bounce back year with the Jets. I got him from Manny. We decided, hey, you know, Manny, you're a little bit quarterback heavy. Once you throw me a, a decent quarterback, I'll give you some picks. So I ended up acquiring Aaron Rodgers as my starter this year. Uh, Damian Pierce, you boys know I'm a Texas fan. So uh, I actually got him in a trade last year. Alexander Madison acquired him this offseason with Dalvin Cook. It was a combo deal that I made. Um, that's worked out. Hey, guys, sometimes that tree splits. Mm, it's looking pretty good. So, Brian Robinson, 
Um, I'm a big SEC fan. When you can get an SEC back, I I, I uh, try to do it. George Pickens, another SEC wide receiver, one of my favorite players in the NFL, NFL young boy. Uh, DeAndre Hopkins acquired him this offseason. I knew the tank wasn't empty, and we're going to find out with the Titans. Pat Fryermuth at tight end. I uh, love the young tight end, uh, you know, right there for the Steelers. Got to keep the Eagles, uh, you know, the Philadelphia Bulldogs. Acquired Pickett this offseason, needed to back up. Got Zeke. We're going to see where he lands. Tyler Algier, something happens with Bijan. I got the guy. Devin Singletary, that was my insurance for Pierce. Zamir White could start. We'll see. We'll see. See where uh, Jacobs is going. I don't know where he flew to, but he definitely ain't in Las Vegas. Uh, Chase <laughs> Claypool, still holding on tight to that dream. We'll see if that works out. Nico Collins should, could be, should be the number one wide receiver for the Texans this year. Terrace Marshall Jr., still a believer. Trey McBride, we'll see if he blows up this year. Jake Ferguson. So that's my team. I do have the 1-5 this year. Um, traded Burrow and some some other assets. So pretty happy about it, man. Uh, squad's looking strong this year. Maybe I can get in the playoffs for the first time. I know that's embarrassing to say. I have a dynasty football championship and have yet to make it in this league. But I did uh, kind of jump into this league a little late. So I think it was like, what, four years ago, four or five years ago? Uh, yeah. but, uh, Deshaun Watson, like he did the Texans derailed my, uh, my trajectory in this league. I did a lot of trading at the beginning that I shouldn't have. So this year I'm trying to keep it strong. So let's go to the last place team. Who's really rebuilding. And that's preheat. Right and they, uh, here. they, they traded, uh, all of their studs to killer bees, which is the kind of going full circle here. Yeah. Um, he doesn't have a lot, uh, although he does have some solid guys to kind of build around. That's uh, mm -hmm. a 1.1. Uh, he has Herbert. Uh, I'll just stick to the notables just because he doesn't have a lot. But uh, Garrett Wilson's going to be elite. Peoples-Jones has been playing very well. Uh, Shahid kind of played a little bit well last year. Uh, yeah. This guy could be the next up-and-coming tight end. Um, yeah. Definitely... Um, you know, has a shot to kind of blow up a little bit. Uh, he has Purdy. We'll see what happens there. He got him before, uh, you know, before he became Purdy. He just kind of got him as a as a long shot, and it pan through, pan out for him. Um, and then he has uh, Keontae Ingram, who has a shot to unseat Connor. Uh, you know, Dorch. He drafted Sermon kind of early, and then you know, obviously we know we know what's happening with him, and yeah, it's kind of frustrating. Uh, and Justin Ross has been making a lot of noise as OTAs and mini camp training camp and, um, you know, very, very talented, just a lot of injuries and then taste them Hill. So, nice. uh, not a, not a lot, not a lot of show this guys picks though, too. Let's show Let's show his picks off real quick. He's got this, is, this is where it looks good here. <laughs> this so, is where his team looks good. Yeah. He's getting Bijan for sure. So, so he has one and three in the first. Uh, he used to have six uh, uh, six first rounders, and he kind of made some moves to to get some some better quality guys that are a little more established. But look at next year. Next year is where it's at right here. Yeah, look at this. He sold out. Uh, yeah. And obviously, this is this is the current standing. So obviously, we don't know what's going to happen. But yeah. based on this, uh, this is based on you know last year's uh, standing. So there's a chance. Uh, I mean, I I I hope I'm not picking fifth this year. Uh, so yeah. I'm I'm kind of betting on myself here that yeah. I will I will be in the bottom half of the first round. But anyways, yeah, that's that's our league, man. Hey guys, I hope you guys um, enjoyed a little glimpse into uh, our personal, uh, you know, dynasty league. A lot of these teams are, you know, in different, you know, situations and different points in their 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 certain you know timelines. But hey, time will tell. And the championship is coming soon. So here we go, guys. As always, Dynasty Football out.